Hello and welcome, this is Miles Skinner, and we're back with some more of the Total Conversion mod of Stellaris Star Trek New Horizons. I am playing as United Federation of Planets, formerly United Earth. And I'm noticing we have this... Yeah, too many colonized systems. But you know, it's interesting, it says too many colonized systems. Is that why? Because if I count here, it's saying 7 of 6, but if I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 planets... But we started with Earth and Mars, so maybe those aren't added into there because they're not planets that we colonized. Now, if we're being technical here, this is the home world of Centauran, so that shouldn't count as a colonized planet either. But maybe it's because it's a planet we didn't start with. It's a little confusing, though, the fact that we have nine planets and it's saying we have seven. Well, in any case, we are at a point where we're above this. So what is the downside of this? Empire influence gain minus 10%. Empire energy generation minus 10%. The, the influence gain is the big problem with that. We don't want we don't want reduced influence gain. So we're going to have to create a sector. Where would we want to get rid of stuff? Well, I still want Earth and Mars to be controlled by me. Because I have development to do with them. And I think they're important planets. And not only that, I, I don't think I could give away... Uh, Mars without giving away Earth, too. So definitely not going to do that. We could get rid of this, but I'd also lose... Alpha Centauri Prime. Because they're in the same system. That might be alright, but these are two very well-developed planets. And I kind of like keeping around well-developed planets because... You can benefit from their resources and their population. I also want to be able to send colony ships out, which I think I probably still do, even if they are in a sector. You know, honestly, uh, the planet I, I'm more likely going to do this with is probably uh, Terra Nova here. Because it is developed enough that I'm happy with where it is. Like, this is going to be important. I don't know if the AI would have put this down themselves. But everything else here... I would be fine with whatever the AI did. And this is kind of a remote system. We do have a star base in there that we would lose, but that may actually give me more capacity to have star bases. So that could be cool as well. Um, because that would be what? Star base 3? Star base 5. We'd lose star base 5. But we'll go ahead and try it. Now, I haven't done this in a long time, so we'll see if I remember how. So create a new sector. We have a limit of 4. So create new sector, we'll set it to here, which is where we want to do it in the first place. Oh, alright. There's only so many places we can do it anyway, and it wouldn't let me do it in the solar system anyway. So, yeah, we'll do it over here. Because as I said, uh, Terra Nova, probably the most developed of, the, of our colonies, and I'm fine with the AI doing, what, with, doing with it whatever. The problem with the sector is I don't know what else we'd incorporate it within it, as far as planets. But yeah, let's do this. Okay, they now have a new sector. We need to go in, planted sectors, and give it a leader. It's going to be our governor that's been sitting around not doing anything. And they have not a whole lot of food. We could give them energy. I'm not going to give them minerals because they do produce it anyway. Uh, I think. They don't really... Yeah, let's give them a hundred. Yeah, now we're fine. I guess we can give them more than that. 500 energy credits. Gives them a little bit of... Uh, so they can maintain their buildings okay. Um, balance focus is fine. Yeah, I just want them to develop that planet. Okay, I don't want to be in the uh, the sector thing. Uh, how do I get out of it? Uh, probably close. There we go. So we should have... Double check. We have one sector, and it's the Terra Nova sector, which at the moment doesn't have a whole lot in it, but that's fine. We may give them some of these uh, systems that kind of don't have a lot of resources I don't care about, although that's a lot of investment into something I don't really care about. All right. Well, now that we've done all that, let's uh, let's continue here. Oh, okay. Science ship did its anomaly. Oh, that's right. The colony. Duh. Uh, well, let's go take a look at it. 
Okay, uh, that's all set up. We've got a couple blockers to clear. So, so. Hit the go to button. Oh, well. Okay. Construction well. complete. Oh, yeah, okay. So that was the uh, the dockyard thing. Okay, let's go to... Vega's doing that. We'll go here. I want to build the crew quarters. Maybe not a high priority, though, because dock ship upkeep is reduction. Energy credits, we do so well with that, and we don't really use energy credits as often as we need minerals, and I have to use minerals to do this. So if energy credits was a, and a problem, I would do this, but right now it's not. Traffic control could be good, though, because it would increase sublight speed in this uh, particular area. Probably not a priority right now. How is our research going? I want to wait until this research is done to upgrade our ships or even look to build more. So, yeah, I will wait. So instead, yeah, let's do what I was thinking of doing. So we will build the traffic control in that system. And then when Vega's done, we'll build it there as well. Okay. Now, I can continue to colonize worlds. But I think we've kind of reached a point where we just have to be patient. Now, this looks like it's going well. This planet here. Got a Class M Savannah planet. Uh, okay. Well, they've been arrival. They keep dropping it and putting it back on. Uh, speaking of dropping things and putting it back on, how are the Trill doing? Still are rivaled to us, and it looks like a relationship has been dropping pretty rapidly here. Uh, not a whole lot I can do about it at the moment. I'm just, I'm kind of hoping they get rid of this damn rivalry so we can finally be friends with them. Uh, I wasn't really able to do anything else, uh, to try and help. Uh, I did what I could. I don't know if we were ever going to be able to turn the trill around. Ah, oh, the trill took a system in here. What do we got? Empire, okay, yeah. All this stuff. Um, Alright, so we have enough tradition points, unity actually, to, to get our next tradition. So, I've been wanting to do diplomacy here. If we get this up, press cap by plus 25. In addition, we will unlock one ascension perk slot. I don't know what ascension perks are. I guess it's these things. Ascension perks are special bonuses that our empire can unlock by completing a tradition tree. Okay. So we have this. Well, defensive war with another empire. Uh, so we can build ships faster and our fire rate is faster. Or we can do alien tourism. Uh, alien visits visitor center, visitor center, which increases the attraction of alien species to your empire. In addition, to reduce the diplomacy penalty of border friction by minus twenty five percent. That sounds pretty good. Because people like the trill, we probably do have border friction with, and that could help. Uh, like, another example is you know somebody like, well, we're not directly border friction with them, but these guys, the Orion, well. Mostly, it would benefit the Trill and the Tamarians. So that could be good. Uh, this, I mean, it's good at the moment, but... Our unity output is increased by 5% per member of our coalition. And alliances up to a maximum of 30%. So this is really good. For getting more unity. You know what, I'll go down this tree and I'm aiming to do this because we already have, what, three coalition members? That could that could add a lot towards unity. So, yeah. It'll take time to get this. But I think it's worth it. And we we plan to add more and more coalition members as, as needed. Like, you know, Temerians, possible. I'm going to go with this one. If anyone ever declares war on me, it would also be really nice. Uh, not sure if that's going to happen anytime soon, but... 
with our nature, we're more defensive. At least that's the way we, I'd like to roleplay, because that's the way the Federation is. Uh, so if ever we go to war, uh, this would give us a big bonus. So, yeah. Be nice. I kind of wonder how behind technology my science ships are, because I don't... I know I upgraded one of them, or up, up, yeah, updated, upgraded, whatever terminology you want to use. Ah, the Orion, Orion Free States are looking around over here. They're starting to run out of potential to expand. Okay, we got an abandonment, abandoned amusement park. Structures on Alpha, whatever, however you pronounce this, men say. Or are not as old as we first believe. It seems to be a playground or amusement park of some sort. Science officer so-and-so notes that many of the contraptions are highly complex creations that we can learn much from, and that to the builder's alien eyes, this might have been a cutting-edge sensor array or even a gigantic art installation. Regardless, to us humans, it looks most mostly like a place where you we take your young and let them amuse themselves. Okay, get some science type stuff and uh, was that not the anomaly we did? That's all my science ships are busy, so wait a second. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four, that's right. At least I think it is. Complete. They all have officers? Yeah, okay. Okay, construction complete. You're done. Was there anything else in here you needed to do? Yeah, the star. So grab you here. Okay, and that's the last thing you need to do here. And then we're gonna look to expand our own empire's borders. Okay. A little bit of a hang up there. Construction complete. That was at the Vegas station. So we're going to do the same thing we did at the other station. We're going to build traffic control. And now that we're on the subject, is there anything that we need to build anywhere? Okay, so you are waiting for a lot of population points to pop out. I would imagine that somebody pop must have popped out somewhere, though. Where we need to build stuff. Like, I could go for minerals instead of this food here. Uh, we may need it eventually, though. There was a time when we did have a little bit of a food crisis. Alright, so at the moment... Nothing really here. So I'm not going to worry about it at the moment, but let's see. Mars, how are you doing? Okay, so we're going to have this space. Where we could build a number of things, like a within refinery, which we can't build because we don't have the resources. We've got bunker network. We've got interstellar academy. Uh, local garrison. Trading center. Transport hub. How come we cannot buy... Ah, it requires food. Interesting. Does it get rid of the food? Let's try that on Earth. So where is their food? Well, we're working this food. We're working this food. And if we stopped working the food... Let's let's uh, let's replace it. I want to see how this works. We're gonna replace it with a housing project. It requires food present to be able to build it. I find that odd. I'm curious though if we'd lose the food. This is kind of an experiment here. Yeah, it says it will be suppressed. So you literally have to forego the food to get the resource interesting 
Well, I'm not gonna do that. I don't think. Not not on these two planets. This food's kind of scarce. On other planets, it may make sense. Like like here, this that would make sense because you've got a one food spot, not that valuable of a, a tile. But you could turn it into one of those. All right. So well, still, what would we want to build here? I mean, Interstellar Academy, I mean, we already have the this, so it would be like double the, the science research. It wouldn't necessarily hurt. Uh, Garrison? Which also gives us uh, society research. Interesting. You could build that here. Because what are we getting here? Research and energy credit? We don't really care about the energy credit too much. You know what? Build that there. So, according to this, we get society research. What does it also do? It gives us five defensive armies. Alternatively, we could use this building, because this also collects energy credits. Yeah, alright, that's that makes sense. So we get both things. Alright, so we'll do the Interstellar Academy there. And then, what would we build here? Well, we'll wait on that. Because we've got time to determine that. Um... Food, minerals, that's fine. Like here, we could do the garrison. Yeah. I mean, really, a lot of it comes down to... We have the resources, but we don't have the population yet. So, like, for example, I could build, because they, they don't have those here yet. I don't think they do. Yeah, the Industrial Fabricator, which is going to give us building speed cost reduction as well. I'm sorry, building speed up and cost reduction as well. So, we'll do that. And then when that's done, hopefully this Vulcan population has popped out. And if not, we can move somebody around. Okay. Take a prime. Uh, you know, science research maybe not the biggest priority. Put you there. Dead. New Andoria. We're doing all right for food, so what other resources would we want? This. Okay. Beta Prime. Where you know it's too not developed. All right. At least we we look took a look at that. And, you know, the question is raised, like, what would we want to put here, like, in an empty space? We've got ground-to-space weaponry. Uh, this facility will automatically fire at enemy ships bombarding this planet. So we have to be in a kind of a sore spot for that to be effective. Same thing with this. Transport hub, that could be a, a good one put in here. The problem that I see is I don't think we're going to have... I don't think we're going to have the, the population necessarily anytime soon. I will go ahead and build the local garrison on this spot so that we're going to get that society research. We're well ahead of society research anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay, let's uh, continue here. Yeah, we're doing pretty good on resources. Uh, blocker cleared. Power blockers are being cleared. Research complete. All right, so we do have a, a choice here. So provide me more information. Okay, so as you know, as we step out in the stars and expand our empire, we must make a decision on the kind of culture we wish to make. And we forced two wildly conflicting ideologies, each offering their own path of evolution. Okay, so we've got civilian entre entrepreneurs, and then we have frontier collectives. Okay, this is but the very first step in a path that embraces the fringes of our society, the adventurers, dreamers, and settlers. 
They have always been the first to explore and set forth. Choosing this path would make rapid colonization considerably cheaper and easier by the expense of potentially losing control of our own people. This option can't be chosen by author authoritarian empires. So this sounds more like with what we would do. And then we have frontier collectives. This specialization focuses on controlled and directed colonization. It allows for faster growth rates and colonization speeds, facilitates resettlement and faster building speeds. This option can't be... Oh, so we couldn't take this anyway, so it's it's straight this. All right, so we don't even have to take this because of role-playing reasons. We have to take this because it's the only option. Okay. Research complete. Well, in any case, this is going to put us at a good point to go ahead and put a cut in the video. So I'll do my research uh, in the next video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.